everyone welcome to my channel painting with diamonds um today we're going to do a time lapse of the flying ford anglia from harry potter and the chamber of secrets movie um, this combines my two favorite things which is harry potter and diamond painting um, in this part we started with the top left with the sky and i started doing the blocking but then i said mm, let's do um let's keep a line so they can come out straighter um, and you're going to see that I do this for the rest of the painting. Um, I love this. It was a combination of lots of color blocking and confetti. Um, and it was my first time working with fairy dust drills, which I love them. I'm going to say that I even like them more than the ABs because they stick better to your pens. They... Um, line neatly, neatly in the tray. It was awesome. I loved it so much. In this part here, I started doing the smoke coming out of the Hogwarts Express, which was, I would say, the most difficult part of the whole painting because it had a lot of confetti. And I like to work in big areas since I'm very lucky to work to do diamond painting while I work. I work from home for a call center, so in between calls or while I'm talking to customers, I get to do what I like, which is diamond paint. And I get through a lot in one week. Um, this is the middle part, which I loved it. It had crystal rhinestones on the Hogwarts Express train and the letters. And I like the contrast with the red. I'm working my way with the what's left of the smoke and more color blocking with the sky that first top part of the painting the top third part of the painting I did it all in one day in about eight hours because I just couldn't stop myself I couldn't stop I just wanted to keep going and going I love the blues the confetti part in the smoke this is going down the left side of the painting where we only had green in this part and the other right part. I love the contrast as well with the blues and the green, how, how the green pops. I love that. And this is the little bit of one of the fairy dust, that blue. And that's what that was my first experience with that blue. And I love fairy dust more than ABs. The shimmer it has they're better to work with and the car was all fairy dust every part of the blue of the car was fairy dust Ron didn't have red hair he had more like a brownish red part um, and Harry's shirt was red as well um, that was the only pop of red in the whole painting. You have Hegwood's cage.
would say that this was my favorite part in the whole painting the grid from the car and the actual car because it had those fairy dust drills and um uh, they just they just glue perfectly they shimmer beautifully and they're so easy to work with I'm almost done this is the bottom left corner and like I said I like to work in big corners all I do this all while I'm working that's why you see me kind of stop for a few seconds The bottom third part of the painting was the easiest. Lots of color blocking lines because we were doing the train tracks and what was left of the car. So I just flew through this. It took me, I would say, about eight more hours to do each square. So that was eight hours, this is eight hours, and the other side was eight more hours. I finished this painting for about in about four to five days because I just couldn't stop myself and because I get to do this while I work. Here's a little close-up of the fairy dust drills. Amazing, beautiful. These are the crystal rhinestone contrasting with the red. More fairy dust. And the train tracks.
the smoke and this is how it come up, comes up this is how I have it on my office home office and I I just love it I love it Thank you so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing for new videos. I'm working in another time lapse for an even bigger painting. So please subscribe if you want to see more of these type of videos. Thank you so much.